Hi, everybody. So, first of all, I don't mind my shirt. I had to put a old an old shirt on so that my um, good clothes won't get all jacked up, you know. So, I wanted to come on here and I want to document my facial acne journey, guys. Um, I've been dealing with acne since I was a teenage, well, I'll say about 18 19 years old i've been dealing with acne ever since then and um you know there's times where i've had it under control there's times where i didn't have it under control um you guys are seeing my face now and i'll explain all of this because this is not normal guys so and i'm going to show pictures before um during and then after and then i'm going to update you guys keep you guys updated on um what I'm doing um, this week. So I'm trying like this new um, kit that I purchased. So um, so basically what this is right now, I was able to, day before yesterday, I went and got a derm cream treatment. Um, and it's where they just like kind of go over your face, scrape all of the um, top layer of your dead skin cells off. Um, and then I also had, um, oh, and it, it removes all of the, um, and I'll put, I'll put the description of the dermal plane treatment in, uh, in this video, but, um, so yeah, they remove all the peach fuzz, your little hairs and things and all that. And it's supposed to like brighten your skin, um, open up your pores so that you can get a deeper penetration with your, um, acne products that you use on your face so that it can work better. Um. Now, during that uh, dermaplane treatment, I also got an extraction. So that's why you see all of this inflammation here. Um, and I will tell you that before I went there, my face was not like this. <laughs> so I didn't have any, the only thing that I had was maybe a smaller portion of, uh, a smaller version of this little, this pimple here, whatever that thing is, cystic acne, I don't know, but it was very small. Um, and when I left her, I had all of this. This is where she had to go in with um, like an extraction um, device and, you know, try to get all of that down deep. And I appreciate it because now I don't have any black heads. I don't have any white heads. I don't have anything. Now I'm just left with the inflammation and the scarring. Um, and she did provide me with, um, you know, aftercare Um um, directions so I'm going to apply those so this is day two um, actually this is day yeah this is day two so day two is before all this was red and inflamed it still looks like that but just think this was like two or three times worse than it was today it's it's settling now so I'm a little more comfortable like okay you know but I was a little worried at first um, yeah I didn't have any of these marks when I went I didn't have any of these things. The only thing, like I said, I had a smaller version of this. Well, so as I'm waiting on this to calm down, um, I've been doing like a cooling mask just to get rid of the inflammation. Um, and I've also been doing, I'll show you some of the things. I've been doing like a oil-free wash and then I'll follow up with a moisturizer, which is very important because at first, I thought I have oily skin. Why would I put moisturizer on it? But turns out moisturizer is very important because even though your skin is oily, you can still be dehydrated um, deep down in your pores um, and underneath your skin. So I've been using a wash, a moisturizer, and then I'll go in with, and all of this is by Clinique, they have an acne solutions line, which is very good. So um, this is like a moisture surge hydration gel. So after I put my moisturizer on, I will go in and my really dry parts are here, basically in my T-zone area, here and here. And I'll just kind of dab this gel on there um, for that extra burst of um, moisture. Um, and then also I left the dermatologist with this uh, Dermaquest. It's like a moisture mat. So, so you're not so shiny. You put this clear gel over top of it um, and it just helps seal in the moisture and it gives it a matte finish so it won't be so shiny. So these are the four products that I have been using the last two days um, 
just to get through the uh, the dermal plane treatment um, after results, okay? So give or take two or three days, this should be all calmed down. Um, if you look like under my eyes, it's a little smoother. There's some parts where it's a little smoother, so I can kind of tell that after this inflammation is gone, um, and these marks are gone, that's inflammation as well, then I can kind of tell that it'll be brighter and a little smoother. All that texture will be gone, hopefully. But what I'm most excited about is, after I'm finished with this, um, I was able to come across someone who makes sea moss. Now, you guys have heard a lot um, about sea moss going around, saying that it's good for your diet, good for your hair, good for your skin, and anything that I hear that's good for the skin, you know, I want to try. So I've stayed away from all, I've tried every acne product that's been out there. Um, proactive, I've, I've tried all of it. Um, so then I went natural. I was using natural products like aloe vera gel and coconut oil, which you know, in the beginning, it helped. You have to be consistent with those things, but you can't just use like the coconut oil and aloe vera. You have to use other things um, because like the coconut oil, I thought that it was a moisturizer, but really it's not. All it does is seal in whatever moisture is already there, um, but then nothing comes out to replenish it. So I was doing that all wrong, thinking like, oh, okay, yeah, and it wasn't even working. So push that to the side. I still have it. Um, because like I said, it's a good sealer. So I can still use the coconut oil, say like if I put a moisturizer on and then want to seal it with coconut oil, I could do that. But I am not able to just use the coconut oil as a just pure moisturizer like I was. So I had to make some adjustments. But back to this sea moss. So what this is, is, um, and this is going to be backwards to you guys, but it's a mosque mask and it's 100% natural, guys. So what's in it is um, you have uh, water, sea moss, unrefined shea butter, almonds, turmeric, orange peel, jojoba oil, rose, rose hip oil, honey, and tea tree oil. So all of those are natural products and they work within the skin. You know that your skin is your biggest organ. Um, so it's really, really, really good to just use all natural products on it. Um, this is a heal and hydrate mask, so you have to keep this refrigerated. Um, so what happens is you apply the mask evenly to the face, and I'm just reading the directions. After about 20 to 30 minutes, you rinse uh, cleanly and then you pat dry. Um, and then they give you a face moisturizer that you want to use. And then um, also there is a toner that you want to use um, as well. So you just kind of spray that on afterwards. So apply a uh, toner by spraying the face directly or by spraying a cotton pad and applying avoid get it into the eye. So um, this packaging is really good. In here is just witch, a witch hazel, a raw ACV, and then lemon essential oil. So everything is natural. Everything is natural. Um, and I'm excited about it. So I'm not going to do this immediately. What I'm going to do is wait to open that because it was kind of crooked and coming out guys but um what i'm going to do is wait to use this product until some of this inflammation calms down because what i don't want because my my um pores are still so open and my skin is just still so um um going through that healing process right now i'm going to continue to use my products today is wednesday probably until the end of the week on these four products here, which is by Clinique, the um, moisturizing, the moisture surgeon, and the moisture mat. I'm going to continue to use those items. Oh, and then this um, salicylic acid um, is in here. Sorry, I didn't know what I was trying to say. So benzoyl peroxide, and then if I can pronounce it, the salicylic acid is good as well this will dry your skin out so you just need like a pea size um and then that's why i'm using all these different moisturizers so that i can balance this out it's really good if you could just use like a gentle cleanser like a survey or 
a vino or even um cetaphil is really good as well um but i don't have any of that so i just use like a dime size of this and then just go hard on the moisture um just to balance that out so so yeah that's pretty much going to be my journey i'm going to post pictures um before after and during and then when i start this journey um at the end of the week i will take before and after pictures to let you guys know i've heard so much good reviews and news about the mask moss um, and I'm excited. So I have the mask moss, the uh, face moisturizer, and then the toner as well. So I'm excited about these three products. So you guys follow me, stay with me, and I'm praying and hoping for the best. Love the skin that you are in. That's where, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to love the skin that I was in. And if I can just get this acne under control, I'm going to be able to tell me nothing. I'm just playing. All right. See you guys. Bye.